Talk no jutsu is not that bad. There's a common misconception in the Naruto story in that villains are defeated simply because Naruto gives them a little chat to calm them down and that it would cheapen the story as a whole. Now I will say that for a lot of Naruto villains, he does pull this jutsu off, but in all honesty, it's not that bad in the grand scheme of things. When looking at the most uses for Talk no jutsu, I deem them to be used in a valid way that doesn't make it seem all sappy and forced to make the bad guy a good guy. It's just Naruto's character and development that has led him to doing so. For example, his fight against Garo was pivotal in changing his war perception on life. Naruto was able to understand where Garo is coming from since they were forced to have tailed beasts inside of them which prevented them from having proper reactions with people from their villages. Naruto inducted the idea of receiving love from those he's currently around with so that he can live better for it. Garo applied that to his life which ultimately led him to showing love to others by becoming the sand village's Kazakage. A talk no jutsu occurrence that struck with me was Naruto's use of it against his sibling student Pain. They were cut from the same cloth in that they were trained by Jiraiya who has generally had a more positive outlook through his tenure in the show, but Nagato wasn't able to grasp the concept that Jiraiya tried instilling into him as he has done so from Naruto. I actually want to make note that Pain's speech against Naruto was alluring to say the least because that actually got Naruto to shut up and think about what it means to have true peace. And while Naruto understood where Pain was coming from with that line of thinking, he sought to push forward with the teachings that Jiraiya passed on to him, noting that this would lead to true peace in the long term. Nagato then trusted him with the task, then revived those he killed in the Leaf Village as atonement, leaving a lasting impact on the Naruto series as a whole. So far, it's been nothing but positives when it comes to using Talk no Jutsu in the series, but there was a point where I personally felt like it was kind of annoying to use at that time. I'm referring to when Naruto turned Obito to the good side in the war arc. Now to clarify, I'm not saying that the use of Talk no Jutsu was bad in this case, but more so I felt disappointed that it happened to a character like Obito. Now granted, he is the Uchiha version of Naruto to a certain extent, but the reason I personally didn't like it being used on Obito was because he was originally a savage villain. I can make the argument that Orange Mask Obito is a top 10, no, top 5 character in the show, given his initial plot twist in saying that he was actually Madara Uchiha, to him becoming the puppeteer that would control Sasuke, to him striking fear onto people by starting the 4th great ninja war off his name alone. It kinda went all down here from there once his mask came off. With him being the lackey of the real Madara, which in of itself isn't that bad, then him being pulled by Naruto into the light of the ninja way. It was annoying, but this goes to show that no one is far enough from being saved. Just like it's not too late for you to hit the like button and the subscribe button. If we reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I'll create a position to mandate that everyone watch One Piece twice over by the time that they finish high school, otherwise they'll be locked up in prison to watch nothing but slice of life anime for the remainder of their lives. Yeah. One instance of Talk no Jisu that goes under the radar was the one he uses against Zabuza. What I liked about this one in particular was that it truly affected how Naruto goes about his ninja way. You can make the argument that Zabuza had an effective Talk no Jisu against Naruto if you want to put it that way. Zabuza initially saw each shinobi as a tool, using Haku as an example, but Naruto noted that Haku should have been treated with with more respect as he laid down his life for Zabuza. Also knowing that if ninja like him get strong off of using people as tools, then that's just too cruel to do so. Zabuza then broke down and noted how much he respected Haku, then later on, Naruto was able to form his own ninja way, not following the standards that was set before. And the most obvious one to talk about in relation to Talk no Jutsu is against Sasuke. If there was ever a point to suggest that actions wouldn't speak louder than words, then look no further than the final Naruto vs Sasuke fight. Sasuke was about to go full on dictator if it wasn't for Naruto's influence, and Naruto wanted to, he could have killed Sasuke in that fight, but he opted to use words at the end to secure the win. He noted to Sasuke that whenever he walks down the path of darkness, it affects and hurts Naruto as well. Sasuke then came to realize that he felt the same whenever they were under any form of danger. When he came to grips with that, he finally admitted defeat and came back to the hidden leaf fillers with open arms. Or open arm? So I passed the question on to you guys. Do you think Naruto is justified in using Talk no Jutsu in the times that he has? What are some of your favorite moments when it comes to the use of this overpowered Jutsu? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm the Curly Hero Kage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace. Deeper than any blade.